Hi, I'm Allie. Join me as I create these December star earrings of Cheryl's and show you how easily you can get this pattern. If you need any materials, go ahead and look below the video in the description. We'll put links there to get back to our website. Gather all your supplies and let's get started. So as she was working, Cheryl put together this cute little December star is what we're calling it, featuring some mini gem duos. And we are going to begin by putting on to some thread and I'm just using about 24 inches of some dragon thread. We're going to put a total of five of our green beads for the center and you can do these any color you want on my threaded needle making sure because the gem duos do have a side they have a flat side and a side that's popped up making sure that the flat side is all to facing down and the puffy side is all facing up i'm going to go to the end of my thread you can use whatever color thread you want i'm using black so you can see it a little bit easier and i'm just going to tie this into my first little floral shape i'm working with a size 10 needle and size 6 dragon thread from here, I'm going to go to a place that is not awkward, meaning not right next to the knot. Go through the next bead, and I'm going to step up into the second hole of my gem duo. So stepping into my second hole of my gem duo there, give a tight, nice little pull. That's going to make sure that it stays even better together. And we're going to add an 11 or a 15 -0 with another gem duo between each of our second holes of our green one. So on goes the 11. Then we're going to put on our gem duo, then another 11, and go through the next gem duo bead. When you do so, you want to make sure that that rounded side is facing up, flat side is facing down. So you're going to kind of push those over, go into the bottom there, add another one of your 15s, and go into your next gem duo. Going around, you're going to get to the point where you have a total here of five on of your red beads. So we ended up starting with five to get our star shape and we're continuing with five as we go in and add more on. As you get back around then to the very start, you are going to get a little bit more going on here. And take your threaded needle then back through what you just added. So as you take it back through what you just added, we're going to go through and I want you to come out through the 15 on your project. From here, you're going to add three more of your 15s, one, two, and three, and then sew over the top of the diamond duo through to the next one, through those 15 OC beads, and out, putting again three more 15s, one, two, and three, that sit above your green gem duo, and then sew through the next ones as well. So I've got two of those done, three more to go, adding in those seed beads that sit right above the green gem duo. Now to expand our star further, I'm coming out that first gem duo that my thread was originally coming out of. And I'm going to step up into those three C beads that I just added on top of that green gem duo. And when I go through, I'm gonna come out, out through bead number two. So we put three on the top there, you're gonna come out bead number two. From here, we're gonna connect to the second hole of our outer bead here. And you're gonna add one, two, and three 15s, and then go up to the second hole of that gem duo mini. One, two, three more 15s get added, and then go into that middle bead of the group of three that sits along that gem duo. One, two, three, so simple up to the next one. Again, three, and then into that middle bead sitting above the gem duo. So I'm gonna continue on building my star out a little bit, adding in those seed beads that go around the sides of the red gem duo. 
So to do our last level of seed beads here, to get a little bit of seed beads around the point, you can keep it open too if you want. You're gonna go back through that first 15-0 that your thread was coming out of, up through the three seed beads that you added on the side, stepping up to that second hole of the gem duo. And now you're gonna add some more seed beads, one, two, and three of your 15s, and then over the top and back through all the beads that you just added. If three is a stretch, depending on um, if you're using Toho or if you're using Miyuki, you can also add, I'm gonna add a fourth one actually, just so that way when it goes around the top, it sits a little bit nicer and right around. There you go. And you can flip around then up through the side three seed beads that you just added. And then again, three to four 15s around the top. And then down the other side. This is just gonna go straight across from one side to the other, going through all of those seed beads, including that center seed bead that you're catching on the green. Once we're done going the whole way around then, adding in our little seed beads, we will add in a wire guard around the top. After you're finished adding all of your seed beads around the outer edge, you need a way to be able to connect it to your ear wire or to your huggy if you wanna hang it down from one of those. So we are back to the start here, coming out of that center bead that sits over the green gem duo. And I'm gonna go up to the top here of the seed beads that I just added and go right up to that central peak. When I'm at that central peak, I wanna make sure those four beads that I put on, I wanna make sure to come out the second of those four beads. I'm gonna grab a wire guard or a wire guardian or a wire protector, whatever you wanna call it. So up through the one side of it, go down through the opposite side, go into the opposite middle two beads there, and then once again, reinforce. So by going through those two beads, that sits the wire guard right in in the middle, and then that'll fit perfectly around and sit right on top of our star. After you reinforce, going through those one more time, going through those two seed beads, you're going to bring your thread and needle down the opposite side here, and then in towards the interior. So you can see I'm just sewing right there along the side towards the interior following the thread line. And as I get back then towards here, I'm just sewing around till I can get my thread back to that starter spot going through my gem duo, going through the middle gem duos. And remember that one is already tied. So if you wanna tie off somewhere else, you totally can because we tied this into a knot. I'm just sewing right on over, back and I'm gonna tie off that same knot and then grab my thread burner and burn off my thread. Open up my huggy earrings and slide on my one for the day that I want to wear. So here along the back, go ahead and take your piece here. You could also sew a little crystal to the front that would look really pretty or a little gold round. Right over left, left over right. Grabbing my thread burner. This could also be great as a poinsettia with some green seed beads and your red flowers. And then you put it on your huggy and you wear whatever you want for that day. And these are such cute little earrings. Thank you to Cheryl for taking a little break from sorting and bagging beads at work to make these fun December star earrings. Thank you so much to Cheryl for these cute December star earrings hanging from my huggies. You can make tons of different Christmas earrings and hang them whatever you wanna wear for that day. Remember, if you want any materials, go ahead and look below the video in the description and get links there. These would also look amazing in white and crystal too, giving a little bit of that snowflake look. Remember, if you haven't yet, subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beats. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more inspirational designs.